have had the problem of trying to communicate with their woman. Hold on, this ain't jumping on women. Because you got to see what's going on. Jesus has the same issue communicating with his church. He said, go witness. He said, pray without ceasing. Bride. He said, forgive. He said, serve. He said, sow. He said, bear fruit, bride. But all you got is bitter fruit sitting in your churches. Jesus is the bridegroom. Jesus is the new Adam. And just like Adam made the mistake, Jesus ain't making none. Jesus doing what Adam should have done. He eliminating that out of his life eternally. What Adam should have done was say, Lord, send me another woman. Once she ate, Adam should have. Salt God, what do you want me to do in this situation? No, y'all won't hear that. But how Jesus is doing it, to that bride he can't bring under him, I'm leaving you right here doing tribulation. <laughs> You're going to recognize. Because he's still trying to reach his bride. And he still have told her to leave that fruit alone. Come out them clubs. Come out of that bed. Come out of that line. Come out of the works of the flesh. You my bride and wash yourself. And you're not going to get. See the difference in Jesus. The second Adam and the first Adam. is The first Adam was weak. But the second Adam is the Lord from heaven. So you read the story, you won't just make it all about a man and woman get together. Say, okay. Oh, it's a bigger picture because he planted them in the garden so that they could be fruitful. He didn't leave the church just so we can ask for stuff. But that we could be fruitful and multiply. So the first Adam messed it up. And we see it acted out all the time. It's no indictment on a woman. It's no indictment on Adam. But you need to see how the story goes. So when God took the rib out of Adam, he created Eve. A man with a womb. But now John jumps over here and he says... That when Jesus is crucified, they stuck him with a spear. And out of his side came water and blood. It's the pattern of God because God works in patterns that the same thing he did with Adam and Eve, he's doing with Jesus on the cross. You need to understand this. When they stuck Jesus with the spear... It was the same as Adam being put to sleep and God pulling the rib out and pulling his woman out. When they stuck Jesus, that water and blood came out is the church. Because John says over in the epistle of John, who is he that overcometh the world? But he that believeth Jesus is the Christ. And this is he who came by water and blood. And it's the spirit that bears witness. What are you trying to say? That Jesus' bride ain't named Eve, but it is named the church. Amen. And when that blood flew out and that water flew out, the water has to do with baptism, has to do with the word, and the blood has to do with spiritual power. Sanctification, are you listening to me? When the water and the blood came out, if you wasn't in one of them droplets, then you got a problem. 
Because what he birthed was his church right there. And one of them sales had Stephen G. Conley on it. And if you can't claim one of them sales of one of them blood sales, you never going to make it. Because when that blood came out, the blood of generations and generations and millions and billions of people is what flowed out of his side. And if you let the enemy take that from you, you can never overcome the world. You can't overcome the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. You have to understand that who is he that overcometh the world, but he that believed that Jesus is the Son of God. And how I'm going to show I overcame? By water and blood, which means I'm going to be a part of his church. Y'all better stay with me because he ain't coming back just for people to say I'm Christians. He coming back folk that wearing, wearing his ring. Because if you read the rest of the story, in Revelation, we're going to go there. John hollers, come see the bride, the lamb's wife. So he didn't just die for your sin so you can beat everybody in your family sinning. You can be self-righteous and sin, and I know he loved me kind of sinner, and I'm going to church because I'm a preacher, I'm a deacon, I'm a, I'm a good person. He didn't die for good people. He died for sinners. And he didn't die that you can continue in sin. He died for his bride, his woman. And somebody say, well, how do I know I'm his part, his bride? You got his spirit. Amen. Who is he that overcometh the world? But he that believeth Jesus is the Christ and the Son of God. And it's the spirit that bear witness. Yeah. It's equivalent to him putting a ring on your finger. Right. The spirit is the ring that I wear. Come on. I'm married. Amen. It's the Holy Ghost. That makes me part of the bride. When you have his spirit, you got his ring on your finger. It looked bad when a woman got a ring, a man's ring on her finger. She entertaining all these other men. Every time they see you, they see you with somebody other than the ring giver. You hollering about he ain't here right now. He gone on a long trip or journey. But when he got his ring on your finger, he can go to the end of heaven. And you're going to keep everything for him. Your body, your soul, your mind, your spirit. You writing love letters. Y'all ain't never been in love. You writing poems and you don't know nothing about poetry. All the stanzas is off and messed up. Amen. They ain't sonnets and whatever they call them. Amen. You writing poetry. You sitting on the bench by yourself thinking about him. Head all in the cloud. People got to call you and say, earth to you, come back. You thinking, they, they dreaming and thinking of you. They dreaming and thinking of you. Been too long since some of y'all been in love, if ever. But if the bug ever hits you, I mean, you almost, <laughs> you don't know whether you're coming or going. You in a daze, you in a fog. Dopamine got you, man. It's like you done smoked the large blunt because you just like, yeah. Somebody say the house on fire. It don't matter because <laughs> my boo. <laughs> but a lot of the church don't live for Jesus like that. They live for Jesus like he broke, he busted, he disgusted, he janky, he ain't got no fly ride. That's how they live for him. And Satan can come and say, eat from this tree of slick willy. Eat from this tree of confusion. Eat from this tree of bitterness. You like drama? Eat from the drama tree. Because the dude in the red suit, he will bring you drama. And you need some exciting you can't eat from this tree, which is love, joy, peace, goodness, temperance, mercy, meekness. But no, you got to mosey every day over to the drama tree. The people that got drama. Men that got drama. Women that got drama. All your friends got drama.
If you don't have the spirit, you ain't carrying the rain. You can say, I'm digging on him. He digging on me. But that's all y'all doing. Y'all in the long term checking one another out. The spirit is proof that you've overcome. Somebody told you it's church, but only church if you're hearing the truth. The spirit bear witness with my spirit that I am his. Because when, come out here, brother, stand here. When somebody offers me, stay right there. Somebody offers me something from the tree. The spirit is my witness. You offer. You ain't got to take because somebody like you. <laughs> Lord, don't let nobody think you cute. <laughs> you 90 years old and somebody, all they got to do is offer you some cute fuel. Yeah, you cute. Because the nice old man offered you some cute fruit. <laughs> Somebody tell you you handsome and you, I'm um, what? <laughs> you don't know what's behind all that. Elves became elves because he offered them some elf fruit. I think I'm L. G's. I think I'm G now. God made male and female. But somewhere in the garden, the enemy said, tell you what, since she was abused as a child, put it in her head and her heart, don't trust men. Put it in his head and heart, don't trust. Now, offer him some fruit and he passed him by the tree. I'm LGBTQ, T, and plus. That's, that's a fruit for you. This, thank you. I was, think I was born this way. You were. Thank you. And then I'm going to offer to other people who are in the same situation. He said be fruitful and multiply, but he didn't say offer them fruit. I lie, steal, and cheat. And do stuff. You got any fruit for me? Okay. Okay. And then you, all your friends lie, steal, and cheat. Or angry, bitter, whatever your sin or preference is. The Bible says that you have to come off, away from the sin that so easily beset you. There's some stuff you would never do. But there's some stuff, as soon as you walk by the tree, you just grab one. <laughs> Matter of fact, you take the tree home with you. And everybody know you by the tree. Because you know the tree by the fruit that it bears. And when they look at you, they look at liar, lustful, hateful. Because that's the kind of fruit you you giving out. Package look good, bro. But the fruit ain't no good. He wanted you, Jesus, God wanted you to eat from the tree of life. But that enemy always and all of us have ate from that tree. So here's what you got to decide. He's no longer in the manger. Amen. He's no longer on the cross. Amen. But he is seen, sitting in heavenly places Amen. making intercession Amen. for his woman, Amen. his bride. Amen. You, got a, you got a man. Y'all don't like Christian men, but you, you, your Savior is Christian. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> your Savior is Christ-like. <laughs> I know that ain't his name. But your Savior is Christ-like. And you wondering what your Savior is doing? He is sitting 
in a heavenly place, a high place, and he make an intercession for the woman that came out of his side, water and blood, every day. He praying that you will grow up so that your gift will start to manifest in you. Because in fruit, there is seeds. There's gifting in that fruit. That tree looked good. I ate from it. You ate from it. The enemy still try to get you to do But God got a tree. It's called a tree of life. It's got peace and knowledge and joy. Your giftings is in that tree. We want somebody to tell us who we are. All you need to do is imitate your Savior. That's why the buzzes don't go to church. You ain't got to go to church. You ain't going to hear this in the club. Uh, yeah. And you ain't going to hear this in your mama house either. Yeah. Oh, yeah. See. You believe that way because you've been eating from that tree. The tree of you ain't got to go to church. We are the church. You, ain't got to go. you better you preach. Got to go to we are the church. And the seed of the Father through the Spirit is in us. We carry the seed. Amen. Be fruitful and multiply. Everything brings after its kind. Read it in the beginning. Fish didn't beget chickens. They begot fish. Amen. Cows begot cows. Everything brings forth in its kind. If you are a child of God, all you want to do is birth children of God. You want to be a good woman for your man, Jesus Christ. You want to stay Able to have children. Yeah, the Bible even talks about women that couldn't have children. Yeah. Barrenness is a curse. And he didn't die for a cursed church. He died for us to be fruitful and multiply. And when people come in to our presence, they ought to be able to taste the fruit. They ought to be able to smell the fruit. They don't smell like a brewery. It don't smell like a den of thieves, which they had made it. But it smells like a place where I can eat the leaves and get saved and help me with my problems. I didn't come in here because I was perfect. I came in here looking for fruit. What y'all selling? Because... Some of y'all afraid to say it. Y'all want to be Jesse's girl, but I belong to Jesus. Amen. <laughs> I wish he put, could just, I'd wear it. I belong to him. Amen. That's it. I'm not engaged. I'm married. Some of y'all don't know how to say that. Amen. What's your husband's name? His name is Yeshua Hamashiach. Sound like a Muslim name or something. No, that ain't, he ain't Muslim, but it, that's his name. Amen. Lift your hand. I go to work. I ain't trying to make y'all think I'm cool. I'm married. Go to family reunion. Y'all can drink all you want to, but I'm married. And the one I'm married to is sitting on the throne, and he said that he wants me to be ready. If I said holy, it would scare you. But he wants me to be committed. That means all of this loving, all of this good loving belong to him. And all my heart is waiting for you. <laughs> I told you I ate from that tree. <laughs> I knew all of them. I knew all of you. <laughs> <laughs> you know I'm better not to. Don't let me break up with no temptation, smoky river. <laughs> Sunshine, blue sky. Y'all will help me out because y'all ain't from the same tree. <laughs> I wish it would rain. Y'all know it. <laughs> so y'all had children back. Y'all got children named Luther. <laughs> Teddy, <laughs> turn out the lights. <laughs> Only way you can, you, you've been eating from that tree. <laughs> Some of y'all did rape that tree. <laughs> Leave nothing for nobody. Eat all the fruit. But hey, time is winding up. I admit I ate from the tree. 
You ate from the tree. But it's time now to eat from the tree of life. Stand right here, my brother. Armstrong. Stand right here. Preacher said last night, it's about making a decision. It's about making a decision. I could eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. But if I eat from that, my boo going to be able to tell when he look in my eyes that I ain't been faithful. Because he going to look at you. Huh? He come look at you. Say, I've been gone. You've been good? And you can't look at him. You're looking all down, kicking your feet, and biting your nails. He'd be like, whoa, wait a minute here. I see you dressed in white. Stand up. I see you dressed in white. But have you been faithful? Now, I've been on a long journey. I went to build us a house, a mansion. I'm coming back. Blow my chauffeur. Let me check your garments out. Turn around. Oh, whoa, whoa. Slow the preface here. You, your garments are spotted. You didn't think I could see that, did you? You tried to cover one of them Tide pencils, didn't you? You t- yeah, I st- but I can see. I see your garments is spotty. <laughs> you, you stay right there. <laughs> your garments, you look like the church. You look like you go to church. You're good, but I'm looking at your heart and your garments, and I see stains. I see stuff. Oh, yeah, well, hey, I never knew you. Cause the woman, sit over there for me, dear. Sit in the chair, sit in the chair, sit in the chair. The woman I'm coming for, she holy. And that includes men too. They're holy. It means they're committed. That means that when temptation come to them and they're out in life and the tree of knowledge is reaching out at them, they be like, whoa, no, 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 no. I'm going over here to the tree a life. I lived that 15, 20 years, 30 years, 40 years, playing around with people, all that fruit. But I'm tired now. I didn't got 40. I'm 50. I'm 60. I'm 30. I'm, I'm tired of that. Hey Amen. I ain't in that big a hurry to be connected with anybody because I want that ring. I want that ring. I want that ring put on my finger. And the church he's coming back is holy and separate. He got a woman that he coming back. She's separate. She a wallflower. She isolates herself. She don't care about all the brothers looking like sports heroes come waltzing by her house. She ain't open her door. But this one. Ah, yeah, it's true. And you can't blame me for the sin in your life because I gave you. I gave you redemption. I gave you the cross. I gave you the blood. I gave you opportunity. I gave you time. Somebody prayed for you, but you were still stubborn. I gave you college education, but you used it to go into the world and kick dust in my face. I gave you all five of them flat screen TVs, but you never cut it on a gospel station. I gave you the car, but you won't drive it to the house of the Lord to hear the word of God. But now, in this last day, when I have come to gather in my jewels and bring them to my father, you want to come in? I have nothing to do with you. And that's the problem that people have. That God would ever look past all your attendance, all your coming to church, all your doing stuff. But my beloved, oh baby, there you go now. There you go. There you go. There you go. go. She peculiar. She's chaste. Because my father 
I, 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 I want to present her to my father. Oh, that's what the rapture is all about. I'm coming to get my woman, not this old woman that says she's a church and she lives. No, I'm coming to get mine so I can present her to my father. This is her, Lord. She been washed. Look at her. He ain't got no spots, blemishes on her. Woo! This the one. She been through tribulation and trouble, hard times. This the one. She told a whole lot of people, don't call me no more. She walked away from a lot of stuff. She, hey, but look at her. She bloody. She bloody. And this the one. Dear Lord, we want to stand before you. Stand this way, baby. And you go ahead and marry us according to the book of Revelation, Father. I went and got her. I built the house. Now I brought her back to you. Just like you said, you know, and the house is built, is ready. You the one told me when to go. And here she is. She come from out the world. She come from all of that. But here she is, Lord. Would you marry us? Make it eternal, Father. You are my son. You are well pleased. Oh, turn around. Uh, I miss We present to you Mr. and Mrs. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> That's all right. That's all right. Yeah. And when you go to heaven now, you ain't going to see no angels. You're going to see the bride, the, lamb, the, the, the groom, and the lamb's wife, and the father in the temple.